Good morning friends and welcome to the pre-market uh, view. Friends, uh, we had a good session on Friday and uh, Nifty after a long time for the first time has managed to close above 5700 the level. Uh, talking about the global markets, friends, US markets were down about 0.3 to 0.4% and even European markets were down about uh, 1 to 2.5% 2 as uh, we are seeing uh, incremental uh, negative news coming out from Eurozone, particularly from Spain where there are a lot of protests against the austerity drive as the Spain has indicated that they are going to cut their uh, spending by about 40 billion euros. Also friends, uh, today uh, there is going to be some kind of a rating cut uh, from Moody's on Spain. So when the European markets open up today, we'll have to watch out for that development. Uh, also friends, uh, some of the markets in Asia today are shut, uh, particularly China, Hang Seng and Korea. Uh, but the Japan markets are down about 0.7% as some of the data points that have come in recently from Japan have been negative and the economy for the last four months has been showing uh, you know contraction which is definitely a bit of a negative. Uh, friends in terms of flows, uh, FIs were net buyers to the tune of about 1250 crore and the domestic institutions were sellers to the tune of about 683 crore. Also friends uh, the uh, dollar index has gained to almost 80 levels and uh, the brand crude continues to remain at about 112 level. Uh, on that note, uh, let me invite Shaival to take us through important F&O cues and the possible ideas and strategies that we can look at in the F&O segment. Good morning Shaival. Uh, we have seen the markets uh, closing above 5700 levels after a long time uh, and looking at the F&O data uh, and the flows in particular. Uh, what is your sense and the overall outlook for this month? See, from uh, in the previous series, we have been seeing that uh, FIs were net buyer of around more than 5,000 crore if we have a broader outlook. And in Friday's trade also, what we have seen is that they were net buyer by around 950 crores, which is a good sign and it has been also supported by the PCR ratio. We have seen that the PCR ratio for the series started with a mark of 0.97 and again, it's managed to uh, and again, it's managed to close above the mark of 1 at 1.06. Now, whenever the PCR ratio is near 1, the mark of 1, we have seen that the sharp bounces have come in the market and the levels have acted as a good support. So, this is a good sign and we are, as a bias how the market is also positive, we see some positive developments coming in. Also, if you could take us through important strikes around which we are seeing initial built up uh, in the open interest. Uh, we have seen a gradual shift in the strikes. Previously, we used to see in the previous series that the concentration of open interest would happen at the strikes of 5,200, 300 and on the higher side 5,600 and 700. Now that focus has shifted. Now 5,600 and 700 put option has seen a good accumulation in open interest. So now the resistance has turned into support and on the higher side we have seen uh, 5,900 Call, call option seen a good activity whereas if we uh, concentrate on the highest open interest then it's accumulated at 6000 call option so probably on high side 5900 would act as a hurdle because 589 uh, 5897 is the straddle break even point for the current series so probably that would remain as a hurdle and 5700 would act as a support for the market for current week because that is the weekly we volume weighted average price and on higher side on weekly basis we feel market would find resistance around 5780 okay any interesting ideas or strategies that you can share with us see uh, as a bias for the market is positive <laughs> we have given we have recommended titan call option strike 280 uh, with stop loss of 3 rupees on closing basis and target of 7 and 10 rupees also, we have formed bull call spread strategy in LIC housing finance by buying 290 call option at 8 rupees and 25 paisa and LIC call option uh, we have sold 300 strike call option at 7 rupees 10 paisa. Now the outflow in the strategy is 1 rupees 15 paisa. And the risk in the strategy would be around 1,150 rupees, but whereas the profit potential in the strategy is 8,850 rupees. The break even point for this strategy would be 291 rupees 15 paisa. And the quantity is going to be the same for... Exactly. The quantity is 1-1 one, one lot each. We buy one lot, we sell one lot. Right. So overall risk reward ratio is extremely favorable. Yes. Okay. Right, Shaival. Thanks a lot for that update. Thank you. Friends, talking about the companies in the news today, first of all, the Finance Ministry has moved a cabinet note for the National Investment Board for faster clearance of the infrastructure projects. And what it means is that all the important infrastructure projects 
which comes under the uh, you know approval of this board once it is cleared by it no other authority will have any kind of an interference in that which is definitely a big positive for companies like larson reliance infra gp associates and even smaller companies like irb infra and ivrcl because you know for various reasons these projects uh, had to take approvals from you know uh, state governments and various other authorities and because of that the entire projects used to be delayed so this is something which is very positive for the infrastructure sector as a whole also friends uh, the final recommendation of the shom panel on gaar the government will decide whether it is going to go ahead with this recommendations or no today and some of the important ones which they have suggested is that uh, there should be no tax on the uh, adr gdr or p notes also they have suggested that there should be a postponement of the gaar proposals by 3 years and this in case the government goes ahead and implements Uh, would be a big positive for the market as a whole because you know some of the uh, controversial uh, issues like retrospective effect and the taxation related issues uh, you know because of that we had seen that the fi had taken a negative view and the flows were actually affected because of that so this is a big positive for the capital market point of view <coughs> also friends uh, uh, auto sales number for the month of september going to be out and the important ones to watch out for are the maruti number where the uh, growth expectation is about 22% uh, and about 66000 odd vehicles friends uh, on the telecom front we have a negative news and uh, the dot has asked the telecom operators to immediately cancel the 3g uh, roaming pact and they have also issued a show cause notice to all the important players and there could also be a penalty of about 50 crore per circle on the company so this could be negative for companies like bharti and idea in particular in case of lanco infra friends the company is about to achieve the financial closure for their australian mines expansion and this is a positive for lanco infra one can go along with a stop loss of 14.4 and a target of about 16.5 to 17.5 friend in case of reliance industries the government has approved the reliance's revised fill development plan for development of the kgd6 basin which is positive for reliance so one can go along with the stop loss of 824 and a target of about 851 to 869 that's it from all of us friends uh, see you tomorrow at the same time